Mr. Speaker, I think the government is listening. You know, we're telling, we're telling the government, why are we giving your wife money and then there's no money for free, uh, free, free feeding program in schools? So in a way of people, Joined by the one and only Boniface Mwangi. How are you? Salam, I'm just tired. I haven't slept enough. Yeah. I've been crying a lot. Ooh, so, yeah. yeah, I can I can imagine. First of all, congratulations for this big up to you. And how did the thought of coming up with all your thoughts and comes? We tried. It's very interesting. Uh, many years ago, in the new fifty, there was a police uh, terror attack. We didn't have to do the Yes. So everyone who is here, all the performers who are here, are performing for free. Yes. I didn't even call them. I said, you know what? We're gonna do a concert. Everyone said, oh, I'm going to perform. I'm going to perform. Yeah. Everyone is not getting a single cent. Yeah. Because I was about to ask you how you brought people together. So people reached out to you and they were like, you know what? It's not like a queen here and there. We're gonna perform. I don't give a shot to. Then the Rito and Modoni DQ, yeah. the ones working the program. Actually, we had more artists than time. Yeah. It was first uh, mm -hmm. first given a slot. Yeah. yeah. Boniface, Sisi Kama Genzi, Tumeskika. Tumeskika, I think the government is listening. You know, we're telling, we're telling the government, why are we giving your wife money and then there's no money for uh, free, free, free feeding program in schools? Yeah. So in a way, you've been hard, but not completely, but you've been hard. Yeah. What more can be done? Now, number one, we have a very big government. It's to reduce. We overpay our members of parliament. We overpay our senators. We need to start cutting salaries. We need to start living within our budget. We are a poor country. We are a developing country. But we spend so much money on luxurious things like cars, state lodges, state houses. This needs to go. When you stated uh, Kenyans are, are the keys being had, what's your stand on uh, the president for, for dialogue with the Gen Z? One is dialogue. Let him do more. I mean, that's who are going to But you're telling the president, you have the Kenyan constitution. Follow it. That's what you're saying because, for example, the leader is in office. It's all about the fertilizer. Where is he in office? The poor way in his government. What? What? Rape cases, murder cases, corruption cases, all of them are dropped. We say, stop. There's a lot of people. Stop appointing poor and corrupt into office. Yes. And you know, maybe uh, talking about that, uh, what's the best way that the Kenyan soldiers could uh, probably honor? Because, of course, we had lives lost. What's the best way we can honor this? Uh, like every town, you should have a project under them. To Sakaja, we can have a, a street where they have the, 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 um, to go to Germany and walk around Berlin. We find places where they have put uh, names on the floor of those who died, who were killed during the Holocaust. So, what we can be able to do, name rooms after them, remember their names. If you want a Matadu, 
get one of these fallen soldiers who go and put them on your, on your, on your car. Let, 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 let their names live forever. Because the Laulija is not that a lady who fell for you when those people started. That is called Selawija. So Selawija died in the 80s, but her name is remembered. So let us be able to after them. And there's another thing. A lot of money can bring up back who they lost, but compensation for the, for the victims is very important. And don't forget the people who are shot to stay in hospital, some have been paralyzed for life, paid for life. Even yeah. them need to be compensated. And and we need to go after the goals who looted property and the financials. What is your message to your area? My area, Mr. Yeah. I don't even know what he does. I don't even know his name. Huh? I'm drunk. Because he's never hard. He's one of those cows who voted yes. And that's a good idea. Yeah. And finally, of course, maybe you are listening to the families, those people who lost their lives or their loved ones. This is a hard one. No parent should ever bury their child. So we mourn with you, we agree with you. We're so sorry for your loss. And I want to say this, you know, just words, but the truth is, we did not die in vain. Because of them, Kenya has changed forever. And maybe we're having a memorial concert right now. Of course, not all people showed up because, of course, we have others in different parts of the also country. Fear. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe a Kenyan will be out there wondering what next after this concert. So on Friday, the president spoke and made a lot of promises. Yeah. Monday, the Kiyasho. We won't see those things being done. Friday, we'll come to Omo. Right. Thank you so much. Call to the people. Call to the people, yes. Gen Z's, yes. I'm proud of you. I'm a father of three Gen Z's, yes. and I'm so proud. And in this coming election, my son is voting. So proud. Oh, absolutely amazing. Oh, another thing we need. Yes. I guess it should be properly constituted. And we should put in what the people are doing. This one, this one, when you register to vote, so you can take out these governments. Yeah. I think we need to do so much. Thank you so much.